Hey everybody, what's going on? Oh, let me turn this way down. We don't need that so loud. What's going on? Uh, Johnny UPS, Johnny Ups in the house, eating paste. Terrible habit, but cool dude. <laughs> Retro bro, my buddy, my my boy, my boy. John, thank you for coming. I know there's a lot going on, so I appreciate it. Thank you for being here. Uh, and TV's Hasselhoff, Knight Rider himself. Shouldn't you be making next gaming through the ages video? Yes. How dare you, Retro Bro? How dare you spend time on anything except Sega? Sir, I want to speak to your manager. You're canceled. Let me get on my phone. I'm calling the FTC. Yes, I want to report retro. Today we're playing horse racing. Horse racing. Not everybody's a fan. Carl told me he uh, he lives in the in an area where there's a predominant uh culture of horse racing <laughs> it's a big it's big where he lives so he has he will have nothing to do with this stream he's out he's checked out it's this is a bridge too far he can tolerate all the amico talk <laughs> he can tolerate a uh, astro smash uh discussion he can tolerate uh d you know uh the physical boxed edition games, but horse racing? How dare I? Who do I think I am? Let me turn this. I'm gonna turn this music off. I mean, the, the music's you probably can't even hear it as loud as I can, but it's distracting. So I have done a little reading of horse racing. I have the instruction manual. It's in very good condition, by the way. Which is how you can tell this is not something I originally owned. Because <laughs> we got in television when we were little kids. And nothing has survived <laughs> from that time period. This is what the little uh, insert looks like. That's important. Important. However you say important. I don't know. Apparently I say it wrong. I say everything wrong. Jaguar, Jaguar. Even though on the commercials for the Atari Jaguar, they say Jaguar, it's Jaguar. An important, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, so uh, for, uh, horse racing. So this is what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. What's up, Panda? Panda in the house. Panda, the most famous of all... Um, and television fans, at least for this week. Um, multiple videos made about Panda recently. I wish I could say they were all reasonable and good, but, uh, you know, it's the internet. It is what it is. But Panda is always welcome to have a discussion with me about anything, including, of course, in television. And Panda is welcome to place his bets with everyone else in fake money on Pixel Horses from 1979. Which is, <laughs> it's the plan for today. I have six positions. Or is it eight? Let's turn on the in television and see exactly what's going on here. Oh, we need to check. Hang on. Oop, there's the chat. All right, so we got the horse racing. Yeah, we have six positions where you can actually bet in the game. Now you could bet on your own. You just have to keep track of it. Cause I'm, this, we're going to use the honor system here. We're just having fun. <laughs> it doesn't matter, but there's six positions available. Okay. If you would like to actually be in the game and have a position, tell me right now, and I will give you a position based on the order in which you request 
to be in the game. And there's only six. Once those are used up, I don't have any more. But that doesn't mean you can't play along. It just means I can't put you in the game itself. If this makes sense. Everybody starts with 750 bucks. All right. And you get to choose how much you want to bet for every race. <laughs> A panda has demanded to be in position four. I sheesh prima donna. That's not, that's not how that was supposed to work, but okay. So we'll put Panda in position four. All right. I got a little notepad. I'm keeping track of this. Betting my sub on position four. Okay. <laughs> oh, Hasselhoff wants five. Okay. TV's Hasselhoff. Every time I hear the name Hasselhoff, I always think of there's a Simpsons episode where Lisa was a baby. It was when Lisa was really, really young and she kept saying Hasselhoff all the time. I don't remember. I don't know why it's stuck in my head, but I keep hearing baby Lisa saying Hasselhoff, Hasselhoff. Anyway. All right, so we've got Panda on four, TV's Hasselhoff on five. Anybody else want in? You got to let me know now. And once these positions are filled, there's no going back. <laughs> it's very dramatic. It's, this is important stuff, people. All right. I mean, like, the instructions are very good, actually. I've been reading them quite a bit. Um... We're not going to do everything this game. This game's actually more advanced than I am, believe it or not. It's a an Intellivision horse racing game, and it's more advanced than I am. So we're going to... Here's the deal. Here's how this works. Let me come back to... Come back, Cyrus. All right. So here's the deal. I will not influence the races. Okay, yes, you can technically influence them. If you see the little the little insert, it tells you, you can't really see it that well, but it tells you you can coax and whip the horses. I'm not going to do any of that. We're not going to, you know, um, I don't like the idea of whipping horses and coaxing the horses sounds a little too, like, I don't know, furryism or whatever to me. So we're not going to do that, you know. We're just going to let the races play themselves out how they are and whatever. Cause the, the book tells us <laughs> that everything's randomized, that the Intellivision is sophisticated enough to know that, uh, it can create random horses. They're procedurally generated <laughs> before that was a word. It's not in, it doesn't say procedurally generated. It does say random. So, yeah. It's a really interesting book because it's like this, right? But then as you open it, you get, you know, it tells you about it. But then it turns to the side and now it's like this. And you have to read that way. For a while it's got a lot of detail we're not doing exact bets and all that stuff we're just doing who will win and and who won't and that sort of thing i'm going to try to keep it as simple as i can the maximum bet you can make is 250 dollars for one bet just so you know all right so you can bet like say, okay, we've got, we got a race coming up, right? And these are the, these are the horses that are going to be racing. Okay. It's on turf. I don't know if that is relevant for whatever reason. I'm telling you, this game's complicated. Oh, you can't see it. Hang on. Let me, let me bring it up. Sorry. Here's the horses that are racing. Okay. Got to hold down the button for it to come up. Dang it. Hold down the button, Cyrus. So we got green, red, violet, and blue. 
Okay. So you can see this is what we're going to be get, betting on for the first race, right? Green, red, violet, or blue. All right. So, so far, the only two people that have decided to be in the game and bet is Panda and Hasselhoff. I still have four positions remaining. A total of six people can bet. Panda is going to be number four. TV's Hasselhoff is number five. If anybody else would like to bet it with fake inter, uh, in television money, then this is the time to let me know because otherwise, you know, it is what it is, right? Oh, you want horse six. Okay. Eating paste will take horse six. All right, so you're in the game. We got three people. That's pretty good. So I'll take number one, I guess, since nobody else is wanting in. And if somebody else wants in later, too bad. <laughs> uh, you called dibs on the winning horse? All right. Okay, so here's the deal. These are the four horses that are that are going to be racing in the first race. Green, red, violet, and blue. Green, red, violet and blue okay so panda which horse would you like and how much do you want to bet panda you're up first which horse and how much these are important this life these are like life decisions right here <laughs> Yeah, green, red, violet, or blue, and how much are you betting? Blue for 300. Okay. Blue for 300, Alex. So, we want three. You can't do 300. 250 is the, bit, the most you can bet. I, I forgot to, I think I said that, but we'll do 250 for you then, because that's the most it'll let you bet. For the win... And the color you want is blue. Okay. So we have you locked in. Can you bet on the same horse? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I think you can bet on the same horse. I don't think it'll, I don't think there's any problem with that. Because the idea is you're trying to make as much, whoever gets the most money wins we'll do i don't know what do you think five races five races so whoever wins whoever has the most money at the end of five races wins that's the principle so i guess it doesn't matter yeah you can bet on the same horse you can bet different amounts whatever okay um is hasselhoff or are you gonna uh Let's see, Hasselhoff, what color and how much? Because you're number five. You'll bet $2. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'll bet the $2 I waste each month on my retro bro sub? Holy crap. Throwing shade. Throwing some serious shade. I'm disappointed John showed up, but he's not willing to play this game with us. He had an Intellivision for about five minutes. And then he sold it because he didn't like it. That's what he said. I think he just couldn't figure out how to play the games. All right. TV's Hasselhoff says, uh, for five, I'll bet 300. You can only bet 250. 250 is the most you can bet. Okay. Eating Pace says he's going to bet 200 on red. Let's lock in him. And then you can think about which color horse and how much Hasselhoff. All right. So eating paste wants 200. On red and he is locked in. Okay. And so <laughs> TV says off, you have to pick a color horse. The options you have are 
green, red, violet, and blue. Those are the four that are racing this round. Okay? And then you can bet up to $250. So that's your options. Which color and how much? I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work, guys. <laughs> it seems to be this seems to be too complicated for us. <laughs> I'll put in mine. I'm going to be player one. All right. And I'll say. I'll do a hundred. And I'll do the green horse. So I'm player one. You can't do 300. <laughs> 250 is the maximum bet. Okay, Hasselhoff wants to do, I'm going to say 250. And then he wanted the green horse as well. Okay. All right, so that leaves two. We still have two open positions. If anybody is watching that decides they want to jump in before we start. Panda Sub says, remember everyone, I already called that I win. So none of that funny. Oh, yeah, no funny business. <laughs> what colors left? Okay, so two of us are green. One's blue, one's red. And that leaves violet. So nobody's betting on violet. If anybody wants to change your bet, you can do it right now, but we're we're going to start this race in just a second here if nobody else joins and nobody wants to change anything. Okay, so Hasselhoff says he wants to change his color. He'll take violet. So let's see if we can change his... Oh, he might be locked in. It might not let me do it. Uh oh. Five. Clear. Oh, it locks you in. Well, looks like we can't change bets. We're locked in. Sorry. So for this race, everybody's locked in that's already betted. Sorry about that. Now we know. Life is about learning. All right. Nobody else is joining. Nobody else wants uh, a spot. We still have the two open spots. And those spots will remain open in the next race. So if somebody else comes in and wants to join, we still have two positions left. <laughs> Put retro uh, to two and white at 250 if he wins he can pay me back well we don't why it's not racing on this particular race so it's green red violet and blue <laughs> oh this is complicated i guess all right we're locked in. Let's start this first race. Let's get, let's see what happens. Which horse will prevail? Well, you know what? I'll leave the positions open. If, if, if John wants to play, he'll tell me he wants to play. We can play this one day with shot. This would be so much more fun in person with a group of people because we seem to have a delay in communication. <laughs> Yeah, Panda is blue. Um, TV's Hasselhoff is green. Eating Paste is red, and I'm also green. All right. Let's do this. You guys ready? Let's start the race. First race. We're going to do five of these and see who has the most money at the end. It, we'll see if that happens. <laughs> Here we go. This is taking longer than the Amico release. <laughs> All 
Ah! And here we go. We are underway. Green, red, violet, and blue. And they're off! And violet starts off with a tremendous lead. Blue, suddenly finding new energy, springs forward to the front of the race. But here comes green out of nowhere. What's going on? This is so random, and yet Red sneaking up from behind to completely take over the race. And Red is so far in front, there's absolutely no way it could possibly lose at this point, unless Blue catches up, because here comes Blue. But wait, Violet at the very end seems to be finding some sort of unbelievable energy, but it's too late because the race is at an end, and it's Blue by a nose. My goodness, Blue. Blue, red, green, and then violet. Holy crap. That was wild. Oh my goodness. Wow. So Panda starts off with a tremendous lead. Panda has $1,250. Um, TV's Hasselhoff has $500. Eating Paste has $550. And I have $650. I'm not exactly sure how it's calculating all of that but okay that's what it says oh okay because we all started with 750 right yeah and then depending on what we bet if we win or lose right there you go there you go it's all simple math i told you i don't know how to do math <laughs> i am the best in the world that is what panda sub says oh my god yes you did you did tell us you warned us of your your greatness Panda's hacking. He downloaded cheats into the in television. That's right. Damn hacker. <laughs> okay. No, there'll be no banning. All right. So here's, here's what's up for the next race. Race number two. Pink, blue, orange, and violet. Okay. Pink, blue, orange, and violet. And blue and violet have history, as you can see. Blue obviously coming in first, but you got to remember guys, based on what happened last time, the history doesn't necessarily mean anything. So keep that in mind, but this is who's racing up next and the conditions are muddy. I don't know that. I don't know what difference that makes, but there it is. So Panda, Panda goes with orange. How much are we betting, Panda? You tell me. How much do you want to bet? You have twelve fifty. The biggest bet you can make is two hundred and fifty dollars. That's the biggest bet it'll let you do. Hasselhoff says he wants a hundred on pink. Okay, let's. I'll lock that in. Are you sure? Now you guys, you can't change it once you put it in. So make sure you tell me. All right, so eating paste wants 250 on orange. And okay, so what did okay, Panda wants 100 also on orange. All right, now before I lock that in, you guys got to tell me like you're sure. Hasselhoff you says he's sure. Is everybody sure before I put these in? For me, I'm going to put, I'm going to go with Violet, actually. For me, I'm going to put me in first. And I'm going to go with the full 250 to win. And I want, Violet. Okay. Okay, Hasselhoff for sure. Okay, Panda is sure. Eating paste. Okay, so let's get let's get Hasselhoff in. I want my two dollar sub back from Retro Bro. Hasselhoff wants a hundred dollars on pink. All right. So Hasselhoff is five. So he wants a hundred dollars on pink.
All right. Panda says he wants a hundred on. Was it orange? I'm losing track here. Okay. Panda wants a hundred, a hundred on orange, right? So let's do that. Yes. A hundred dollars on orange. Okay. And then eating paste. Rhea, I have two open positions. So if you want to play, you can play. These are the race, these are the horses that are racing in the next race. Pink, blue, orange, and violet. So if you want to be either player two or three, those positions are still open and have 750 bucks. So the max bet is $250. All right. Um, keep okay. Eating pace says two hundred and fifty on orange. Okay. Two fifty on orange. Boom. Okay, does Rhea, do you want to play or do you just want to watch? Because I got to lock this in. So far, Panda is whipping our asses, like, tremendously. <laughs> this is the worst betting window in the world. No wonder horse races are dying, that's right. Oh, wow. That's terrible. If your horse loses, it goes to a paste factory. And then, eating paste will eat the horse. All right. We're locked in. Raya decided to just watch. That's totally fine. Are we using NFT as payment or Bitcoin? Neither. This is fake betting on fake horses. All right. So here we go. Pink, blue, orange, and violet on muddy conditions. Let's see what happens. You guys ready? And lady and gentlemen, let's begin. And here we go. And they're off. And it looks like orange is out to an, a, a big, the a tremendous lead in the beginning. But no, here comes... Here comes Violet. Violet is taking over the race, but Blue, once again, oh my goodness, Blue with super powerful thrust. <laughs> I don't even know. Its hooves are on fire like the horses on Crawl, and yet Violet will not give up. Violet struggling to keep pace, but Blue is just unstoppable. There's something w I've never seen a Blue horse, and I apparently... You never will see a blue horse because they're just too fast to ever actually catch. Oh my goodness, this is ridiculous. The blue horse is making all the other horses feel bad. How dare the blue horse? The blue horse will be canceled. But if a horse is this powerful and fast, it, it, it will never be stopped. Oh my gosh. The, the horses are, are not supposed to do this. This horse has more than one horsepower. Oh my gosh. It's still going. All the other horses have fallen so far behind now, they've actually stopped racing. They're eating grass. One of the horses is drunk. And here we are at the end, and this was not even a race. This was blue, and then orange, and then, yeah, you guys, the drunk horses. Oh my gosh. Wow. That was... That was terrible. That was like watching a Patriots game. That was horrible. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here we are. Here's the standings. And everyone seems to be faltering, except 
Panda from his initial winnings. Oh my goodness, this is terrible. Eating paste is springing up the rear, and I am tied with TV's Hasselhoff, as usual. But Panda is just the, you know, the unstoppable force. My God, Panda. Did they all die? <laughs> Holy shit, my horse is so slow, it, it fell <laughs> Off the screen scroll, yeah. That was that was embarrassing. I felt bad for the other horses. I did. One inch bicep ready to join us. Okay. Let's put one inch bicep as player three. Okay, so you'll be player three. Now we don't know which horses are racing yet. Let's take a look and see who's gonna be racing in the next race. So in the next race we have orange violet green and blue orange violet green and blue these are the four horses of the apocalypse i don't know the four horses of the intellivision game and they'll be racing in dry conditions you can bet up to 250 dollars if you have 250 dollars which we do so these are the these are your choices: orange, violet, green, and blue. Okay. So let's see. Let's see what we got here. Unfortunately, one inch bicep, you have to pick a different color. Blue 250. Okay. Blue 250. Let's put him in. Three. You're gonna bet 250 to win blue horse locked in okay one inch bicep is locked in uh tv's hasselhoff says 50 dollars on orange okay you are player five and you want 50 dollars to win on orange okay Panda sub wants a hundred on orange. Oh my gosh. Panda's high roller. He's got the money for it. He wants a hundred bucks to win on orange. Everybody likes orange. Well, not everybody, but uh, orange is popular. <laughs> I just lost my car on that race. Oh my gosh. It's looking grim for player six. Hey, you never know. Things can change. Eating paste. What are we doing? What 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 do you want to? What, what's your what's your uh, what's your selection here? There you go. The you know what? I don't know that I don't know that you can trust any of these numbers or anything. Okay, <laughs> because it seems to be very random. And that's what they tell you in the instruction booklet. It's random. So, yeah. <laughs> Orange, violet, green, or blue? Which do you like? 150 on green. 150 on green. Okay. Let's lock you in with that. 150. Oops, did I just do 50? Okay. 150 on green. All right. Now I will take. I'm going to go with violet. And I'm going to go 250. Why not? Let's do it. Let's do it. Or violet. Who? I am not. No, there will be no whipping. There will be no coaxing. This is all left to the console to do on its own. I'm not influencing any of these races. <laughs> okay, guys. This is things are getting a little bit dicey at this point. Okay, because eating paste has just bet everything. Well, half of what he has right? He's bet $150. If he loses this, he'll have 150 left. If he wins, then that's good. But, um, I've, 
done the same basically. I'm I'll be down to 150 if I lose. Yeah, uh, when it's bicep has the advantage of joining late, so he's not as far in debt as <laughs> as most of us. And of course, there's Panda hanging out in the front, gloating. <laughs> All right, guys, we're about to start race three. What do you think? What do you think? Here we go. Orange, violet, green, and blue. Dry conditions. Let's get this party started. So exciting. The tension is building. Orange, violet, green, and blue. And they're off. And green jumps out to the lead. Blue struggling, but blue's coming up. It looks like violet and orange are trying to find some energy, but blue will not have anything of it. Blue is once again proven to be the super horse. The blue is in another league of itself, but green, green coming up, green trying, struggling, pouring on that extra energy, trying to find, oh my God, suddenly green streaking forward, violet coming up carefully struggling fighting trying to find its footing in the dry earth blue still holding on but green green and blue it looked like this looks like the real challenge is it green is it blue blue inching forward can green hold on is violet going to suddenly find that energy that blue has been showing the all of these races i don't know it, green and blue are neck and look at this nose to nose neck and neck who will win green or blue is blue is slightly ahead now oh my god blue oh my god blue just turned on the jets it found that extra energy that it was hiding trying to make it look like it was a close race violet pulls ahead of green oh my gosh but there was no stopping blue blue could not be defeated i don't know that blue can be defeated blue is the tom brady of horses i don't like blue 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 makes me upset i don't like blue oh my gosh look at this we have a new leader one inch bicep joined late avoided the pitfalls of early betting and is ahead now of panda Panda still with a respectable $1,050 in fake internet uh, and television money, but one inch bicep is leading. We have race four and race five still to go. And whoever has the most money at the end of race five will win this. Now I have to be honest, the chances of eating paste, finding a way to win are uh, getting kind of slim. That's going to be tough to pull off. Um, it is possible. No, I don't know that it is possible. <laughs> but it, you know what? Maybe. Who knows? Anything can happen. It's a video game. TV's Hasselhoff is uh, doing okay. Um, I am not doing good either. I am at, at the very end of, of this with uh, Eating Paste. Both of us have not done well. Um, so really this has come down to, let's be honest, a contest between the latecomer and Panda. Who can pull this off? One inch bicep or Panda? I don't know. There's still two races to go. So a lot can happen. Hmm. Okay. Race four. Let's see what horses will be racing in race four. And then we can place our bets, okay? Let's find out. So in race four, it's muddy conditions. It's a short race. That's important because remember what happens with blue. Blue struggles in the beginning and then finds that energy late. This seems to be a pattern, okay? So if it's a short race, that could affect blue's capability. It's this is where the strategy begins to come in. Okay. Red does not have a lot of experience and white and yellow have never raced with us. So we don't know anything about those horses. 
those two horses are a blank slate. So these are your options, gentlemen. Red, white, blue, or yellow. Interesting colors. Red, white, and blue, and yellow. So which color do you like and how much are you willing to risk? Red, white, blue, or yellow. All right. Let's see what we got. Panda wants, okay. Um, Panda says red for 250. Okay, red for 250. Let's lock in Panda. Let's do that. Two, he's going for the full 250. That's a, that's a bold move, Panda. For the win on red. Okay. TV's Hasselhoff says he wants uh, red for 50. Okay. 50 bucks. And he's also taking red. Okay. Lock that in. Eating paste and one inch bicep. What are your bets? Okay. One inch bicep says 250 for white. That's a good bet. That's a good, we don't know much about white. We don't really know anything. He's going for the full 250. This could be interesting. Okay. Cause him and, and Panda are both doing the same amount for different horses locked in could be very interesting. Okay. So that just leaves eating paste and players. Okay. Eating paste says 150 on yellow. Okay. 150 win yellow. All right. Now let me take a look here again. Red, white, blue, and yellow. Well, nobody picked blue. So I'll pick blue and I'll do the 150. This will be it for me if I lose. Okay. We are locked in, gentlemen. Oh, now there's supposed to be five races. Will it be, will it even be necessary to have five races? We'll find out. We might find out. This is your big comeback. It might be. <laughs> That's the way to stay optimistic. All right. <laughs> A bold move for bold times. Yes. All right, gentlemen, red, white, blue, or yellow in muddy conditions for a short race. Who will win? I'm excited. And my anticipation is growing. All right, here we go. You guys ready? Let's start this race. Race four. Red, white, blue, and yellow. Ladies and gentlemen, and they're off. White. Starting out but blue with immediate burst of energy, the likes of which I haven't seen in a while. Here comes yellow, though. Yellow is trying to catch up to blue, but blue is just this some kind of like Lee Majors of horses. This this ten million dollar horse. Holy crap. What is up with that blue horse? What are they feeding that thing? Did it take the blue pill? I, I don't know. This is ridiculous. I hate that horse. I bet it on that horse though. So I shouldn't hate it because I just won some money. <laughs> you gotta be effing kidding me. Yeah. You know, I, who it makes, I'm telling you guys, it tells you in the instructions, this is random, but that damn blue horse, how can it be this good? It just keeps winning. Wow. Well, things have changed dramatically. First of all, everybody 
Press F for eating paste. I'd like to take a moment to say a few words if I, if you don't mind. Eating paste has always been there in the chat. Always a good commenter. Someone I enjoy speaking with. Always has fun things to say. Insightful comments. Gone before his time. As many young men were. In case on. Anyway, um, no. Uh, sorry, eating paste. Eating paste, unfortunately, has run out of money. And I can't give him any more money, so... He will not be able to participate in the fifth race. You can still pick a horse, but you just can't bet. I can't. There's nothing I can do about that. It's, you know, it's locked in. It's the technology of 1979. <laughs> you gotta go sell some stuff. It's not that desperate. This is not real. This is not real money. <laughs> Don't, don't do anything rash. <laughs> okay. So I now have 600. Okay. Um, one inch bicep has a thousand. He is in the lead for, for sure. Okay. But Panda has 800. Now that's very close and that could flip depending on what the betting is. So. There's a, we still don't know who's won. We still don't, it might, if they both lose, I mean, there's a, who knows what could happen. <laughs> um, and, uh, TV's Hasselhoff is, is hanging in there with the 300. That's, that's, that's respectable. All right. So let's see who's racing <clears throat> in the final race, race number five. For the OG in television, Horse Racing by Mattel Electronics. This game is so much fun. I never knew this game could be as much fun as it is. It's ridiculously good. I need more games like this. All right, let's see what horses will be racing in the final outing. Okay. And here we go. Every horse has some history. White, red, yellow, and blue. This is the same horses that raced last time, just in a different order. Remember last time we had red, red, white, blue, and yellow. Now we have white, red, yellow, and blue. It's the same horses. It's an even shorter race and it's in muddy conditions. Does that matter? I don't think it matters. <laughs> I don't think that has any relevance. Maybe it does. I just don't know what it, what the relevance is. White, red, yellow, and blue. These are your options, gentlemen. So depending on how this goes, I, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm very, I'm very curious. Will this be the race that blue tanks? Will blue break a leg in this race and completely shit the bed? Or will blues as yet undefeated streak continue? Will blue dominate as it tends to always dominate? But remember, white is is a is a new horse to you know to the race, and so is yellow. And white did pretty well. Yellow did pretty well. Actually, I mean it's up in the air. I really don't know who will win this. All right. But let's lock in our bets. Let's lock in our bets. Okay, Panda says blue for 250. Blue for 250. Here we go. Panda. Locking you in. 250. And he's going with the the Homer, the the tried and true, the goat. The the Tom Brady of horses, blue. I think that's a smart bet. That's a that's a conservative bet but a bold amount that you're betting considering what it could mean for you as you can see on the screen okay um one inch bicep says red for 250. okay he's he's going with red i i like red also i do 
So let's get in. Three is one inch bicep. He's going for 250 on red. The win, and he wants red. Locked in. Okay. TV's Hasselhoff says he wants 100 on white. Why only 100? Well, it's, it's, it's what he's doing. It's his strategy. You know, he's playing the long game, you know, not the short game. That's what's important. Even though this is the last race. <laughs> Are you sure you only want to do 100? Just giving you a chance to think about that. Before he answers, I'll bet. And I'm going to go with... Let's see, we got one red, one blue. I'll go with the yellow. And I'll do 250. Okay, Hasselhoff has been pressured into betting 250. <laughs> I have successfully peer pressured TV's Hasselhoff. David Hasselhoff, famous for many roles and for his beautiful German singing. Uh, I have pressured the celebrity into betting uh, $250 on on white 250 on white all right 250 the win on white boom okay and this is our final betting structure now, player two cannot win player two is not a real person that's just a placeholder Unfortunately, player six cannot win either. Eating paste valiantly participated, but you know, go big or go home. I'm not saying, you know, nobody's going home yet, <laughs> but he did go big. And unfortunately it just didn't work out. That's how it goes. These are horses. You know, you can't always predict what they're going to do. And today you can't predict anything they're going to do, except apparently blue cannot lose. No, Johnny, it's too late. It it is too late for you, Johnny. We're at the end. You can you can <laughs> you you can pick a horse, but you cannot bet right now. I'm sorry. You had to be here at the beginning or at the second race. I I, I allowed a late entry by one inch bicep, but that's as far as that goes for this go around. I'm sorry. Not, you know, it is what it is. The offer had, was put out there. All right, here we go. Who will win the final race? Race five, white, red, yellow, or blue? White, red, yellow, or blue? Man, I'm going to call it. I, I think blue will win. But I have this feeling. Something. I just have a feeling maybe something unexpected will occur if this could be the moment blue absolutely takes a shit and if that happens i think there's a very strong possibility one of these other horses is going to surprise us Whoo! whoa let's see you guys ready for this <laughs> Dude, Panda, if you win this, that that will be a good, that will be a comeback. That will be a huge comeback. You will have defeated someone who came in late. That's impressive. So let's find out. You guys ready? We're about to do this. Race five in television horse racing. The, the excitement is palpable. I'm not entirely sure what the word palpable means without a dictionary or looking it up on Google, which I could do, but I'm not going to, I am not a hundred percent sure what it means, but I do believe that's what is happening right now. The excitement is pal palpatine. Here we go. Starting the race. Who will win? 
Can Panda overcome his deficit and come back to to defeat One Inch Bicep? Will Will TV's Hasselhoff pull off some kind of insane miracle and actually beat me? That's definitely a possibility. And where did eating pace go? Oh, he's still here. He's on the edge of his seat. Okay. Well, everybody get up from your seats, get off the edge because it's time for race five. Let's rock and roll. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, the final outing is about to begin and they're off and red streaks forward but here comes blue as always can red or yellow overcome white seems to have disappeared we're really not sure what happened to white blue cannot be stopped blue the invincible horse blue the most powerful of all horses the lord of all horses shadowfax oh my god yellow and red the only hope is maybe something no it's at the end and blue just I mean, that's it. There was really no question. There was really, this wasn't even a contest. Blue what, is just the dominant alpha horse. Wow. And now we know. But see, the thing is, it's random. So next time, if, you know, when we play, if we play, it wouldn't be blue. It could be any horse. And it might not even be that there is a dominant horse. But this is what's fascinating. Panda obliterated everybody. 1425. My God. One inch bicep was able to recover all of his initial money. I lost my ass, but uh, TV's house off, man. Looks like he's going to need to pick up some more of those uh, USA Network uh, made-for-TV movies. You got to pay those bills, man. Oof. And uh, eating paste on the sidelines, just eating popcorn, watching this unfold. Holy crap. I cannot believe this. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what was going on with White. <laughs> White seemed to have forgot that it was racing. I'm, I'm really not sure. <laughs> I tip blue for every future game. You may regret that Panda because blue is good right now, but that, that, that doesn't mean anything. It's random, but yeah, there's no question. The first official group, this is the first official group in television horse racing match i don't know what derby derby i guess um goes to panda panda sub you clearly definitively commandingly convincingly dominated all the the entire five race spread for the first official and television horse race derby very impressive everybody Everybody clap, give, give, give Panda a, a round of applause because holy crap, that is amazing. So good job. Very, very good job. I'm highly impressed with your analytical, uh, look skills. Panda. <laughs> that was really good. Everybody else. You, you, I'm in the same boat with you. We tried it's, you can't it, picking these things is hard, but what we, what we have learned is and it may not always be true because we've only got one official derby to judge this on. But what we've learned on our one example that we can put in our data is if a horse starts winning, it might keep winning. <laughs> That's what I know right now. <laughs> Thank you, Panda, for being here. Johnny Ups, I'm sorry you couldn't uh, join in at the end there. I will do this again. We will have a second. Oh my God. My cats are trying to kill each other. Did y'all hear that? Wow. 
Once in a while they do that. Okay, I'm going to take that as my cue. We will do another one of these again soon. But guys, thanks for hanging out. Eating Paste, Johnny Ups, uh, Panda Sub, the champion, Panda Sub, One Inch Bicep. Retro Bro was here for a minute. Unfortunately, he didn't participate for some reason. I, I think he got distracted or possibly fell asleep. Um, but he was here for a minute. So thank you for being here. Um, man, is there anybody I missed that came in? Oh, uh, Rhea was here for a minute. Thank you for being here, Rhea. Always enjoy talking with you. The <laughs> 250 on Jon Snow. <laughs> We're not taking bets on who won the cat fight. <laughs> Not this time, but anyway, guys, uh, we'll be back again next time. Whenever that is not sure yet with, uh, the second official in television horse racing derby, I'll do like some graphics. We'll do like a, we'll make this like real cool. Like <laughs> I'm going to get like, like, I want this to be like fake, like, like, um, this is spinal tap type bullshit you know what i mean like like really oh ultra serious in television horse race we you know take it very seriously you know do like an intro you know with the voiceover and all that a uh, blue says 250 next yeah i got i got you panda sub 250 blue next time <laughs> oh man tv's has off did i not mention you Dude, thanks for thanks for being here. Thanks for playing. You did very well, actually. I mean, in the end, it was, you know, it is what it is, but you did well. You hung in there. You know, everybody did good. Eating paste, you still did good. I understand, you know, there but for the grace of God go I, as they say, to make this super dramatic. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go. Guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for being a part of this. You should wear a suit, bow tie. Uh, I'm not going to do all that. But we'll do something fun. We'll do something fun. This was really good. I had a good time. I hope you did. And I will see you guys again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.